Yes, students, please uh, take a look at the questions here. Once again, good morning to the students of uh, class uh, 12B. Still waiting for the students to join. I guess because of the very cold weather, you people are uh, thinking about whether to join the classes or not. But whether it is raining or stormy weather, we have to continue, isn't it? Right, first question is, which chapter are we discussing? We're continuing with the discussion of the chapter on the face of it. Will they change? Will it change? What are the things about Mr. Lamb that make him different? How do the bees sing? And what happens when we are constantly afraid? Can you see these questions? Just go through them, right? And be ready with your answers. Yes, now uh, can you tell me, will Derry change according to you all? Will Derry change? He has come across a very positive person, that is Mr. Nam, and he's very different from the people that he's been meeting in his life. People who have always been staring at him, they've been whispering about him, they've been talking about him, you know, like in his absence, We're concerned about his future, you know, talking about his burnt face. Do you think Derry will change when he meet someone so positive as Mr. Nam? Yes, you can raise your hand, I can unmute you and you can give me the answer. Do you want to? No, ma'am, how can you say such a thing? He can't. Yes, who will give me the answer? Come on, let's hear you all speak today. Will Derry change? What are the things that make Mr. Lamb different? Which question? Any one question you want to answer, please raise your hand and answer. Are you there, class? Are you there, students? Are you listening? Yes, Akriti, would you like to answer? Tanisha, Pia, are you there? Yes, Akriti, would you like to answer? I'll unmute you, you can speak. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, good morning, dear. Uh, I'll answer the second question. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, Mr. Lab is a person with very uh, optimistic approach towards life. How he deals with things may sound strange to other people. He doesn't uh, self-indulge in himself in self-pity. Yeah. Instead, looks towards the things that are positive in his life. Yes, and that is what makes him so different and different. yes very good very good it's so nice to hear your voice after so long so you can mute yourself thank you Akriti. anybody else would like to say how do the bees sing how do the bees sing anybody would like to give the answer ruchika would you like to speak tanisha yes Pulkit would like to give the answer what about molik yeah, Bhavneet. Yes? Here, yeah, would you like to answer? Let's hear you today. Yes, are you there here? Yeah? Just raise your hand if you can hear me. Molik? Yes? Molik is there or not? Bhavneet? No, we're not there only, are we? Where are we then? Sanvinder? Very strange. Yes, who's there listening to me? Manreet, are you there? Yes, who's, there? who's going to speak? Yes, ma'am, Sanvinder. Okay, Sanvinder, very nice. How are you? Fine, ma'am. Right, I've written these questions on the board. Any one question you would like to answer? Can you answer how do the bees sing? How do, How do the bees sing? Right? So we know Mr. Lamb has a very nice garden in his house and he takes care of the apples. He's also there looking after the bees. And then he tells Derry, for him, the bees don't buzz. They sing. Why is it 
So why does he say that? Yes? It's because of the environment around him. Uh, every, he sees everything in a beautiful way and a positive manner. That's why, right? When we hear the bees, what sound do we hear? We hear the, hear the bees buzzing. buzzing. But he says when you listen to them constantly, that buzzing sound becomes? Uh, music. Yeah, it becomes, it becomes a, a humming sound. Humming is something that you sing to yourself. And so he says the bees don't buzz, they sing. Right, okay, very nice, good. Yes, next question is there. That is, what happens when we are constantly afraid? For this, I think so it is, you know, like even if you're not aware of the chapter, yes, if you would like to answer, a Malik will answer. Quick, who's there listening to me? Who's there in the class right now? Yeah, would you like to answer? Yes, yeah? Malik, are you there? No? Very strange. Where have you all disappeared? Where are my students? That means I should ask you to turn your videos on. And this is what I'm going to do from tomorrow. When you turn your video on, you will join my class. Otherwise, you are there sleeping in your bed, snoring away, isn't it? And not listening to what the teacher has to say. That's very sad. Okay. Yes. What happens when we are constantly afraid? Who would like to answer this? Anybody? Raise your hand, please. I'll unmute you. What happens when we are constantly afraid? Yes, you can text me. Any way you want to speak, you can give me the answer. Right, Pratham? Yes, Pulkit, Anisha? All of you, any one of you. So what happens when we are constantly afraid? Do you think we can enjoy life? Yes, yes, yes. So we think negatively. Right, we, we start getting scared. We ourselves create problems for ourselves. We are afraid. And then what is going to happen? And if I go over there, what will happen? How are people going to react? What are they going to say? What are they going to think, isn't it? So when we are constantly afraid, we create negativity for ourselves, right? We are not able to change. We are not able to grow. That is why it is very, very important that we have a positive outlook towards life, we should face life courageously, bravely. Right now, this is a very really small example, just like what I'm doing in the class right now. I've asked you to speak, right? Say whatever comes to your mind, say what thoughts come to your mind. I'm not here to judge you, and no one is here to judge you, right? No one is perfect. We know that. But yes, I think so. This is you should seek out opportunities where you can speak, where you can interact, isn't it? You you do want to uh, you know like yeah, you want to be with your friends, you want to be heard, and so this was a perfect opportunity to do all. Okay, now what has happened? What are the things that he's telling? So we have learned very wonderful things from Mr. Lamb. One as he talks about that about plants also. Why do we differentiate? Why are we they're talking about this is a weed, this is a flower, right? Then he talks about uh, that uh, if we are constantly afraid, we won't be ready to face the world. We think something bad might happen when we step out. But even in the comfort of our home, anything can happen to us. He's given the example of that man and how the picture fell on his head and he died, isn't it? Now. Derry is there talking to Mr. Lam. He says, you don't know my name and you don't know me. How could you be my friend? Once again, we don't have to know somebody's life history, right? Before we decide that I want to make this person a friend. So sometimes you just click with someone. You like the way they talk. You like the way they interact. You like the positivity. You feel you share the common interests, isn't it? So it's not necessary that uh, you should know each and everything about, you're not, you're not making his uh, what, uh, a, a water card for him or something like that. You need all his record and record his information. Isn't it right? So he's talking about that. Yes, here. Where were, where were we? We were reading here only. Yes, uh, right. Let's uh, discuss this also. Yeah, let's start from here. 
doesn't mean they're enemies uh, either, does it? No, they're just nothing people, that's all. So why do we have to categorize people? People are never just nothing, never. There are some people I hate. That would do you more harm than any bottle of acid. Acid only burns your face. So why are we there? We should not have hatred in our hearts. We should not have this feeling of hatred because we just burn ourselves inside. And it's a very strong emotion. Only like a bomb only blew up my leg. There's worse things can happen. You can burn yourself away inside. After I had come home, one person said he'd have been better off shop stopping in there in the hospital. He'd be better off with others like himself. She thinks blind people only ought to be with other blind people and idiot boys with idiot boys. This is what our society does. We separate people. We make them think that you will be comfortable with people who are like you. You will not feel left out. You will not feel incomplete. You won't feel there's anything wrong with you. Isn't it? How do you make all that out? Watching, the listening, thinking. I like a place like this. I like a house with no curtains. The gates always open, but this isn't mine. He likes this place, right? He likes this place more because Mr. Lamb is there, isn't it? Everything yours, if you want it, what's mine is anybody's. So I could come here again, even if you were out, I could come here. Certainly, you might find others here, of course. Oh, well, that needn't stop, you needn't mind. It would stop them, they'd mind me. When they saw me here, they look at my face and run. So he says, I like to come over here. I like your garden, I like your house. So without curtains, I, I want one like that, right? So Mr. Lamb says, you're most welcome to come. But sometimes there are other boys also, right? So he's telling him that you might find other boys also. And then Terry realizes that, see, they would not come if I come here. They might run away when they see my burnt face. They might, they might not. You'd have to take the risk, so would they. No, you would. You might have me and lose all your other friends because nobody wants to stay near me if they can help it. So he's there, you know, like what? Derry says that if I come here and the other boys are there, they will never come back again because nobody wants to be with me. Nobody wants to be near me. Just see how much of negativity and uh, how, you know, like he is there not having that uh, self-confidence, that lack of it in himself. And because of the behavior that people do, because of what society does, how much they have changed the child. I have not moved. No, so De Mr. Lam says, I've not moved. Whether Gary asks, I'm standing here. No, when I go down the street, the kids shout, Lemila, but they still come into the garden, into my house. It's a game. They're not afraid of me. Why should they? Because I'm not afraid of them and that's why not, right? I'm comfortable with them. I don't keep on talking about my tin leg and they come here and they go. And when I'm outside, they, they call me Lemmy Lamb, they call me names, but they come here also. Did you get your leg blown off in a war? Certainly. How do you climb on a ladder and get the crab apples down then? Oh, there's a lot of things I've learned to do and plenty of time for it. Years, I take it steadily, right? So yeah, how do you take down the apples? Now, how, do you need somebody to help you? If you fell and broke your neck, you could lie on the grass and die if you were on your own. I could. You said I could help you if you want to, but my mother would want to know where I am. It's three miles home across the fields. I'm 14, but they still want to know where I am. He says, yes, I'm here, but uh, even though I'm 14 years old, my parents want to know where I am and my home is three miles, I have to run. People worry, people fuss. Go back and tell them, it's three miles. It's a fine evening, you've got legs. So what, you're a young boy, only your face is burnt, you've got a healthy legs, go run. Once I get home, they'd never let me come back. Once you got home, you'd never let yourself come back. Nobody stops you. Once again, it is your wish. You don't want to come here. That is why you stay home. You, you, nobody can stop you from coming if you want to. You don't know. You don't know what I could do. No, only you know that. If I chose. Ah, if you chose. I don't know everything. Right? I, I can't tell you what to do. They tell me. Do you have to agree? I don't know what I want. I want something. 
no one else has got or ever will have. Something just mine, like this garden. I don't know what it is. He says, I really don't know what I want. I want to be away from them. I want to do what I want to. Maybe I want something like this. Maybe I want this garden. You could find out how. Waiting, watching, listening, sitting here or going there. I'll have to see to the people. So you sit here, decide what you want. I have to take care of the bees. Those other people who come here, do they talk to you? Ask you things? Some do, some don't. I ask them, I like to learn. I don't believe in them. I don't think anybody ever comes. You're all here by yourself and miserable. And no one would care if you were alive or dead and nobody cares. Now Daddy is thinking, Abhita, nobody has come. Right? That means nobody comes to your garden. Is it? So you're just making up a call. Nobody would like to come over here and be with you. If like people don't like to be around people who are not normal. You think what you please. All right, then tell me some of the names. What are names? Tom, Dick or Harry, what's in the name? Getting up, I'm off down to the bees. I think you're daft, crazy. Daft is crazy. That's a good excuse. What for? You don't talk sense. Good excuse not to come back. Now you make an excuse. You're saying I'm mad, I'm crazy, and you will not come back. Okay? This is your reason for not coming back. And you've got a burned up face, and that's other people's excuse. You're like the others. You like to say things like that. If you don't feel sorry for my face, you're frightened of it. And if you're not frightened of it, you think I'm ugly as a devil. I am a devil, don't you? Shouts. Right? So he says that, see, you, uh, you want to say things like this, okay, that uh, you've got a burnt up face and you don't want to come here. This is what we, you don't feel sorry for me, you're frightened of. That is why you're going away. Mr. Lamb does not reply, he has gone to his bees. No, you don't. I like it here. I'm going, but I'll come back and see. You wait, I can run. I have got a tin leg, I'll be back. So right now here, it is there, you know, Daddy wants to stay here. He wants to be, be with Mr. Lamb, but he has to tell his parents, right? He says, even though I'm 14 years old, I'll have to go back and tell them. Daddy runs off, silence the sounds of the garden again. To himself, there, my dears, that's you seem to, ah, you know, we all know, I'll come back. They never do, do. not them, never do come back. The garden noise is fake. So this is what Mr. Lamb is trying to say. Maybe the boys do come to his garden. When they see him, then they go away. They don't come back. And he's thinking about Jerry also. They'll come here, they'll talk to him, and then they'll take the apples, and then they go. Jerry's house. Mother, you think I don't know about him? You think I haven't heard things? Once again, they've heard that there's an old man with a tin head, and he's sitting all alone. He lives all alone in the house. You should believe all you hear. Being told, warned. We've not lived here three months, but I know what there is to do and you're not to go back there. We might not have been living here for a long time, but I've heard things and you are not going back to that house. What are you afraid of? What do you think he is? An old man with a tin leg and he lives in a huge house without curtains and has a garden. And I want to be there and sit and listen to things. Listen and look. Listen to what? Bees singing him talking. So his mother is quite worried because she doesn't want him to go over there to Mr. Lamb's house. And what's he got to say to you? Things that matter. Things nobody else has ever said. Things I want to think about. See, he summarized it everything. Mr. Lamb is different from all the people he has met. The way he talks to him, the things he tells him, how he is different. Then you stay here and do your thinking, your best of fear. So she does not want him to go anywhere. You stay at home and do your thing you go here. I hate it here. You can't have the things you say. I forgive you. It's bound to make you feel bad things and say them. I don't blame you. Right? She's uh, Once again, she's telling that because of your condition. I don't blame you because of the things that you're saying. It's got nothing to do with my face and what I look like. I don't care about that. And it isn't important. It's what I think and feel, and what I want to see, and find out, and hear. And I'm going back there, only to help them with the crab apples. Only to look at things and listen, but I am going. 
she's he's like once again right uh, dairy he has changed a little bit he's saying no it's got nothing to do with my face the way i'm thinking the way i'm behaving it is because i want to be there i want to be with mr lamb and someone is there who talks to me someone is there who is thinking different right i like his house i like his garden i like being over there you will stop here oh no oh no because if i don't go back there i never go anywhere in this world again so bravo dairy he's made that decision that right now if i don't take this step ki agar aaj main nahi bahar gaya ghar se agar if i don't go i might never have the courage to go back again right and i want the world i want it i want it right so if you are there thinking all these positive things if you are there ready to change the world has to accept that change scene three mr lamb's garden garden sound the noise of a branch shifting apples thumping down the branch shifting again so mr lamb is busy plucking the apples he said he has to because he wants to make uh, jam and jelly steady that's got it that's it more apples fall and again that's it and a creak a crash the ladder falls back mr lamb with it a thump the branch swishes back creaks in silence derry opens the gate still panting so derry yes as promised he's come back he ran all the way home to tell his mother ran all the way back right to tell mr lamb that i have come you see you see i came back you said i wouldn't and they said they also said my family also said but i came back i wanted he stops dead silence mr lamb mr you mr lamb it's all right you feel i'm here mr lamb it's all right i came back lemy lamb i did come back derry begins to weep so derry did come back but what do you think happened to mr lamb yes what happened to mr lamb he fell down of the ladder while he was plucking apples do you think he survived what do you think about the ending of the play yes anyone what about the ending of the play what happened do you think 